I started off by measuring the size of my router's base. Mine was three and a half by three and a half inches. So I figured out that the inside of my jig needs to be that size, plus I'm leaving an extra inch to be able to move the router back and forth. So I figured out that I need two pieces at seven and a half inches and two at three and a half inches. But I'll also need an extra piece for a stop. So here's my cut list. I headed over to my miter saw and made my cuts. I marked off some pilot holes that I'll make on the drill press so I don't split the wood. I'm also using a countersink bit so my screw heads will sit flush with the wood. I also want to make some pilot holes in the smaller pieces. Now you might think this is overkill but I actually ended up splitting a couple of these before I actually got it right. So, I mean, better safe than sorry. So once all the pilot holes were done, I simply screwed it all together with some two inch screws. The last stop is to add a stop to the back. So as you can see, I made some more pilot holes and I'm applying some glue here and I'll just clamp that flush with the top and screw it in. This is such a simple yet useful jig. You can clamp it to your workpiece and not only will it guide your router to make consistent keyholes every single time, but it'll also make them equal, equal distance from the top of your workpiece, every single one of them if you need to make multiple keyholes, which means that when you hang your picture on the wall, it'll actually be level. If you found this video useful, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more DIY videos to come. Thanks for watching.